on the peasant down here. <laughs> Squat. Funny that. <laughs> Looking lovely. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm out today at a spot you've seen me use before and I've got someone special with me. Mr. TA himself, Hello. Mike. How are we doing everyone? <laughs> so we've come out for a little bit of a collaboration. It's not our first camp together, is it? It's not, no. The other one was off camera, so I think some of you got annoyed by that when you saw the pictures. <laughs> so here we are for a bit of a truck camp. I got the tents up pretty quick because it was starting to rain, but now as you can see the sun's just come out. Still, get the awning out. We've got to come on, put next to each other. Look at this. Andy's on his throne on the peasant down here. Look at that. Pet you while I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> That's brilliant. That looks really good. I'm, I'm, you know when you. I've like, got a cooler. Have you? <laughs> oh, 
You know when you order from a restaurant and you see someone else's food go past? Like, I really wish I ordered that. <laughs> I'm in that situation now. <laughs> oh, still, it's comfortable when it's. Uh, That's what counts. It's a nice setting. And you're right under there, but it rains on and now. Yeah, it's pushed out. <laughs> Maybe out of sea. This is actually wet from the last time I had it out, which was about a month ago, so no mould whatsoever. I forgot to pack a kettle, and Mike's only got this cup, so this is what we're going to have to use. Well, Mike's got his rod out. <laughs> Just been waiting to say it, really. That's why I picked this spot, because I thought we could bring a rod down and we could uh, see we do some fishing. But apparently it's a bit turbid, is that the word? Yeah, it, ideally you want it like a nice green, a kind of dark green colour. When it's when it's like chocolate like this, the fish aren't going to see, when you're lure fishing, the fish aren't going to see the lure. Yeah. So you're better off bait fishing, but we have no bait. So... <laughs> So just gonna have to. I'm basically hoping that I can cast in front of a pike or perch about two inches in front of their nose that they see it. It's a luck. It is total luck. <laughs> Rain is on. But time's kind of got away from us a little bit. Um, I think I need to get the fire going because uh, I'm doing dinner. Mike's doing breakfast. So yeah, it's going to take a couple of hours. Right, as it's raining and our awning is there and the fire pit area is quite far out here I do have a fire pit but Mike just had a great idea about having a shovel I've got an entrenchment tool that I usually keep in the truck so we're going to dig a pit a bit closer uh, not causing damage to the site then and yeah we can have a fire there put a tripod over it Bob's your uncle
Bolt Rowena. Get a bit of a bed down. Bush crop proof of here. <laughs> Yeah, it's not suddenly not so kiln dry. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Just stopped raining, we've got some blue skies and a little bit of sun. It'll be back. <laughs> back to make a tripod. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. I've got some cordage and then poles. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Right, I'm doing a beef stew for dinner. I've got some potatoes, carrot, onion. Um, I just have to do the onion for the moment to fry that off and get the Dutch oven out. So I'm just going to slice these and flour my beef. <laughs> I've got my beef in here which is still a little bit frozen to be honest but it'll be okay. Just need to add some flour for frying it off and thickening the stew. I've got to fry up the meat first. Okay. Perfect. Teamwork. Yeah, good. That worked well. Might as well stick the onions in now. The sooner everything's cooked, the better. <laughs> right, that's browned off, so we're going to add some beef stock. Just enough to cover it for now. Which is just about all of it. <laughs> I've got some red wine reduction and some tomato puree as well. Lovely. And that will mix in and leave it for an hour and check on it. <laughs> That's the great so we could just sit here and smell it. <laughs> Belly's rumbling. Yeah, it's good Dutch oven cooking in camp. Yeah, oh, it's brilliant. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably my favourite to be fair because you don't have to manage it much. Yeah, just set it and leave it. Just wanted to show you this roof tent which I quite like actually because <laughs> it's got this kind of extra bit on this side that clamps down. 
which gives you a bit more foot room. It's a latitude one. Would you say they're from the West Country? They're from Somerset, yeah. Somerset. Um, only, only kind of one guy, Charlie, that runs it. But I just, like I've said in my video, that I just really like the fact that it, it opens up level with the vehicle like yours, doesn't mm. come out to the side. But I'm also interested to see it, there's quite a bit more room with that, those hinges on the other side as well. Yeah, it does look nice and nice in black. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's got some roof bars on the top there that you can flip over as well and have like your canoe and your kayak and stuff on the top. Just Let that side deal as long as you can cook. We're in After the, that, yeah. we can get under yeah, and exactly. it's fine, have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in the eye of the storm, really. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we're getting a spin off of the, one of the American guys from here. <laughs> I'm buried in the ground. Oh, yeah, that does that more yeah. than doesn't it? That's the downside of these. A oh, couple of beers. Please. <laughs> Got some full circle Bruco, which I've had before, and this yeah. is a Stardust Hazy Powder. This is a 5.2, so I thought that's a good way to start. Yeah. <laughs> the others are like six. <laughs> Give it a tap. We did do some off roading. That's true. Sound everyone loves to hear mm -hmm. when there's a beef stew on the fire. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. Wow, that's nice. Mmm, yeah. It's a nice kind of sessiony type thing. It isn't is, it? isn't it? Yeah. I could, I could drink a few of them. Yeah, definitely. That yeah, goes we got down a box. Well. <laughs> it does go down well. Mm. I think I'll put it in my beer holder. I would <laughs> put it in my beer holder, but. <laughs> And I could put the backup one in my cooler. <laughs> That's that a pretty cool chair. You've got pockets down here as well on this thing. Yeah, that's for my newspaper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> Certainly better than this thing. Oh, it does the job though. What are you saying, two hour cook time-ish? Ish, that? yeah. Should do. Yeah. Should do. Oh, I should have, like... Looked at the time it went on. Was it uh, ten minutes ago? More than that, probably. Uh, what when you put the sauce in? Uh, the yeah, I it guess. was probably. Tw I mean, overall, it would have been up half an hour nearly. But twenty minutes with the. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we'll just guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Six o'clock now. We've got 20, 26 minutes apparently until sunset. Not that we'll see any sunset here because no. the clouds are out. It's pretty dark. Anyway, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's looking dark. We've actually probably got five minutes <laughs> by the time it's set. I think it's time to get the uh, lights in the tracks here. I can't remember. There we go. Oh, it's been on for about an hour now. So we'll go in with some veg. Get that mixed in. Should be enough liquid. Lid on. Right, it's dumpling time. I've got some suet and some flour here. I just need to add in some water basically and mix them up. That's too much water. <laughs> I was just saying, you drain it out. Hold I think I've got a little bit more flour here. <laughs> <laughs> Put it this way, Andy. If I was doing it, it'd be an absolute mess. I, I might make like a giant one. Just one, just one. dump it yeah. in <laughs> like a layer, and then yeah, yeah. I think it will work. Let's get this off, and I'm just going to kind of tip this in as one big dumpling. <laughs> it'll be okay. It'll all work. 
Yeah, it's fine. He's big dump in the Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I think that's what we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting showers and I keep forgetting to check on this. Right, a little bit longer. Steam that dumpling. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, when did that get so wet? Oi, oi, oi. Just think that was hot, isn't it? Where are you? Are you sitting down? Yeah, yeah, hold on, I'll come back, I'll come in. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, we totally haven't just been sat here drinking, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for our food. But as you can hear, it is pouring. Uh, it's going to be pouring all night now, probably. Yeah, isn't I think it? this is it for the night now. I do still need to peg out this awning, don't I? You need to remind me before I go to bed. You do, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's going to lift off. <laughs> but um, we're not too far off our dinner, which should hopefully soak up some of this beer. <laughs> the dumplings will, that's for sure. Mm. Or should I say dumpling? Singular. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit slippery. Yeah, it is a bit foggy now. It's <laughs> heavy. That dinner's heavy. Oh, I've got the wrong way. <laughs> right, as you can probably hear, it's raining. <laughs> oh, I don't know where to put this. It's just muddy everywhere now. <laughs> right, so a sp <laughs> spoon was full of water. <laughs> So, look at that. That's nice. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. We need a hearty meal right now. This is definitely a hearty meal. I'll fill your cup first. <laughs> yes. You might be having three or four servings. <laughs> uh, my kapilka. That dumpling's not bad for a gigantic singular yes. dumpling. It's come out. It's come out all right. Oh. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, then keep it warm. <laughs> I I put a spoon somewhere. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> It smells amazing. It does smell quite nice. Yeah, it smells Considering we've just been drinking and trying to weather the storm. <laughs> mm. That's nice. I need I to try it. the meat, see if it's tender enough. Oh, that'll do. No, that'll that's nicely. Good. That's good. Lovely. Yeah, I think this is us for the night now with the rain. <laughs> This is that hurricane spin-off now yeah, coming yeah, in now. Yeah. <laughs> we laughed about it earlier and actually we were a bit anxious of will our tent survive this? Someone's getting wet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. That's just what we needed mm -hmm. for this forecast. A winter stew. Oh. Hope you guys are happy next in your sofas <laughs> watching this, nice and dry, with your hot chocolates or a beer. Laying it's... in bed complaining when you drop your phone on your head. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're lovely and warm where you are. <laughs> it's not that cold to be honest. Is it? No, it's just it's wet. Not... <laughs> just constantly wet and muddy. Done so. It's all ready. Go. <laughs> It's 
knotty, so I couldn't oh, cut it down. Oh, well. Yeah, that ran for, for a while. <laughs> That'll work. No, I, well, all I've got is just a frying pan. I was just going to be like a cooked breakfast type thing. So. I've got the... But not an extravagant... Petromax pot stand with me if you happen to need it. Oh, the triangle one? Yeah. Yeah, that's ideal. I've that's just got the Petromax uh, raw time pan. Okay. So just that on there. That would be perfect. It's my pie over there, isn't it? Where we've just smashed it down. Nice, <laughs> now there's some more. There we go. Dry the soles of my feet now. Oh, new beer time. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Andy. Here's the dry weather. I know. <laughs> For the moment. It's the first time in about four hours we've come out <laughs> from that awning. <laughs> we creaked outside. <laughs> Well, we've been uh, having a few beers, we must admit, haven't we? Yeah, we have had a few, yeah. <laughs> Put a dent in it. Who could blame us? <laughs> they are lovely full circle brucos. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the rain stopped. Uh, it's meant to start again a bit later and into the morning, but we've just been enjoying being closer to the fire and not being rained on. Yeah. <laughs> it got a bit extreme for a minute there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just going to finish these, I think, and get to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning when I'm being cooked for. <laughs> Don't expect anything luxurious, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Eggs Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jingo. Yeah. Trying to create a bit of a wind barrier. We won't need much because we're only frying, yeah. so. Up on the box. It makes my head look massive as well because you're further. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are up and uh, you've slept well. I slept pretty well. I woke up a few times. There's a few rain showers, wasn't there? Mm. But uh, other than that, I slept quite good. I got up for a pee about three in the morning and I could see all the stars. I really was. It was yeah. completely clear. I got back in the tent and like two minutes later, downpour. <laughs> you timed it well. Yeah. But no, it was a good night. Very peaceful here. Yeah, it's a good spot. Wind is all over the place. Yeah. Can't decide what it wants to do. It's circling around here. What I might do is two sausages. Two bacons, two eggs. That's it. It's not so. It's kind of good for one person. Mm -hmm. I think it's 
Do you want the sausages? It is what it is. It's all food. Do you want another one, Andy? I might be alright with that. Yeah. We need to coordinate chairs next time, oh, like no. girls with their clothes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they were so out of size, these chairs. <laughs> I've been cooked breakfast, which is a nice change. <laughs> Some sausage, bacon, and egg in a muffin. Hmm. Very nice indeed, thank you. That's all right. Yeah, it's good. I think, yeah, it's nice to have breakfast cooked because you know, once you've done dinner, you're like, hmm. I'm chilled for the rest of this camp now. <laughs> yeah, you can relax, <laughs> definitely. But next time we can swap. <laughs> nice just doing those one pot meals as well, though, isn't it? Like mm. duck yeah, duck yeah, 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 yeah. Low lot, stress, a lot less stress. Cooks itself, doesn't mm. it? It's, <laughs> just needs heat. Bit of chilli in it. It's a bit colder. That's hot. Get a load of this, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> it's very slippery and clumpy. To you, yeah, to me, to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, that's us all packed away. It's uh, just starting to rain, so in a nick of time. Um, thanks to Mr. Mike for coming down I and it. having a camp with us. And you guys have been begging for this for a while. <laughs> I think quite a lot of you are subscribed to both of us, but if not, check out Mike's channel. It's down below. And um, yeah, see you all again soon. Well, run into a bit of a, an incident. It's extremely boggy here. And uh, yeah, I've got stuck. Now, neither of us have our recovery boards. So Mike had the idea of putting my levelers behind the wheels. Put them behind the back ones because they look like they're in the worst shape. We'll see if that does anything. If not, it's calling the farmer with his tractor, I think. And uh, Mike's got uh, all trains on. So I think he's gonna have equal trouble.
first. <laughs> Recovery is on the way in the form of a tractor. <laughs> oh dear.